When a husband and wife team opened Fuya Da Clothing in 1996, it was just a small shop. But today, their son runs a mini empire. Now my factory has 1,200 workers here. The workers have come from all over China to cut, sew, and embroider the world's clothes. Yu Mei Hua's decision has been replicated by millions of other poor Chinese, providing the fuel for a manufacturing engine that is incredible to witness. Just outside most major cities, especially here along their east coast, are giant commercial zones, rows of factories making whatever needs making. Many were started like Fuyada, not with a bank loan, but with money borrowed from friends and family as China's export boom took off in the mid-90s. That time, the profit's really, really good. The profits will be 50%, 60%. But profits that good couldn't last. They were pushed down by increased competition and then cut further by trading companies and other middlemen who take a big cut to match factories with foreign buyers. Actually, they take the most profit. Then they take better the profit better than the factories, actually. Yeah. But, but factories do, do the most work, you know. So it's not fair, you know. I, I'm just feeling it's not fair. Our next stop shows just how well these middlemen can do. Just off the booming East Coast in a city called Yangzhou, we meet a woman named Shen Lashia. Like many Chinese, she's given herself a Western-friendly name. But instead of Laura or Amber, the name Shen Lashia has given herself is Dollar. Where did you get your name? She loves money. She makes it working for a company called Alibaba. Alibaba is a trade platform. It's a Alibaba isn't a trading company, but another kind of middleman, providing a business-to-business -business link between factories and foreign buyers. If you need 10,000 yellow toothbrushes, you can probably find your factory at Alibaba.com. But the service isn't cheap for factories. A listing costs at least $3,000, and a decent part of that fee goes to Alibaba reps like Dollar, who can make as much as 10 grand a month if only they find enough customers. But if Dollar spends one minute telling factories to seek out buyers directly, she spends the next helping trading companies like this Alibaba customer look less like middlemen. How well does the export machine work? Every day, China sells a billion dollars of goods just to the U.S. That's four times as much as we sell.